Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to look at how you can package your content and upload it to the Reillusion Marketplace. If you're not yet familiar with the Reillusion Content Manager, please check out our Content Manager tutorial for getting started on that. Let's take a look at how you can package your content first. As you may know, Reillusion has a custom content folder embedded in the Content Manager. Within, you'll find all of the various content categories, each containing different content types. Let's start by opening up the Packager from the Window menu. You can also open this by using the Ctrl plus F4 hotkey. The Packager allows you to package content and publish your content packs directly. Let's start by right-clicking in the Packager window and selecting Create Pack. I'm calling this pack Megan's Restaurant for all of the content in the viewport that we're going to import. You'll see it appear in the Packager panel once you do, but there is nothing there just yet. I already have the entire project saved, so I'll just drag that to the Packager panel and the category will be assigned automatically. You can also right click on any item to add it as I'm doing with the CC avatar file of my main character. I'll multi-select all of the other assets in my project and drag them over to save time. If I deselect show subfolder items in my content manager, it will only show the folders. I'm going to create a subfolder for the prop category called background and move my background assets there. After that, I can deselect show subfolder items in the packager and drag that new folder over to the packager. In order to make your content more easily accessible and organized, it's recommended to create subcategories like this. Next I'm going to re-enable the Show Subfold Item checkbox in both the Packager and Content Manager so I can see all of the items. If I right click on my character, I can rename her. Once I do, you'll see that the name will also update in the Packager panel. However, if we right click and remove the item from the Packager, the raw file in the Content Manager will naturally remain. We strongly recommend that you create a subfolder and place items within in order to avoid naming conflict when users download. In this case, I'm creating a specifically named subfolder for my project file and I'll move it there. That way I can rename the project to Megan's Restaurant to avoid naming conflict with the pack name. I'll proceed to do the same thing for the props as well. Since some users will have a huge library of content, organizing everything under the same subfolder names in different categories will make everything easier to find. It also helps to ensure that you name all of the assets appropriately. Once we're done that, we can add a thumbnail to the pack. To do so, I'm going to right click on the main pack item and select Edit Pack Info and load in a JPEG that I've previously saved. Keep in mind that the thumbnail needs to have a 512 by 650 resolution. In this window, the file list will show all of the items in this pack. Once that's done, you can go ahead and save. Your pack is now ready for uploading, so let's look at how to upload and publish next. I'm going to start by right clicking on the pack and selecting Upload Pack. From there, you'll see our pack along with the CC avatar of Megan. Let's just go ahead and hit Upload and then onto the Marketplace. In the Marketplace, make sure you're logged into your account and then head to the Management Backend. Here you'll see a list of all of the items that you uploaded. What you want to do next is head over to the Edit Content Pack. Here you'll see the main thumbnail for your pack and if you click on it, you'll be able to preview the product page. It includes a list of the items in your pack, as well as any required base content. If you want to edit it further, you can use the edit icon on the right beside your pack. One great feature with the new Smart Content Manager is that content can now be shared between iClone and Character Creator. You can see a list of compatible asset types here. On the pack editing page, you'll want to further define your type as character project for CC4. The category will automatically fill in and you can choose a gender or a specific subcategory. 
We'll add in another categorization line for iClone next and define that properly as well, so that the pack will also appear when users are searching for iClone content specifically. Below that, the item list will show all of the items in your pack, and you can toggle whether or not each item can be available for trial use. It's always a good idea to write up a detention drawing description as well to make your pack more appealing. There are some optional supplementary things you can add as well, such as more commercialization images and even YouTube videos. Tags will also help users find your pack more easily. Here you can see a published pack complete with supplementary images and video, as well as a nice description and tags at the bottom. For help with commercialization, you can use the commercialization guide on the left menu. This will give you all of the recommended specifications, as well as some good tips on how to make your product page look better. Okay, finally, let's take a look at verifying the pack before publishing. Back in the Packager, you'll find a Verify tab that will contain the pack you've uploaded. Press the Refresh button if you don't see it yet. Here you can double click to download it and double check to make sure everything is set to be published correctly. If you want to modify the pack by adding or removing new items and folders like I'm doing here, just make sure that you right click on your main pack thumbnail and re-upload before moving on. The modified item list will show the items that you're going to insert, replace, or remove. In the Verify tab, you'll also want to refresh to see these changes. You'll see the small update icon on the top right of your thumbnail, so make sure you do that as well. Once the update has been finished, you'll see the amended pack complete with the added and removed items. As mentioned previously, you can share content between iClone 8 and Character Creator 4, so there is no longer any need to upload the same pack twice. In iClone, I can find all of the same items from the pack and apply them separately. If you double click to add, it will place them in the default position defined in your original project. If you want to replace a single item in your pack, an easy way to do that is to copy the content ID from the edit pack list and then right click on the item you want to be the updated version, click re-upload to marketplace, and then paste the same content ID. That way it will replace the one you currently have published. That's it for this tutorial folks. We're looking forward to seeing all of the cool stuff you guys can bring to our marketplace and our thousands and thousands of users around the world. I'll see you in the next video.